Hey now, everybody. This is Todd here in Denver, Colorado. Hope everybody's uh, enjoying themselves. And this is an MCIJH 110 tape machine, analog tape machine. Everybody wants to do tape, baby. Tape, tape, tape. It's fun. You know, if your idea of fun is uh, going to the dentist, yeah, it's a, it's a blast. Anyway, I've been refurbing a bunch of these machines, and I just started realizing that I should be, like, recording what I'm doing because people ask questions, and I... <laughs> I fix things and then forget that I fixed it, and then five years later I have a similar issue on another machine and I forget what I did to fix it. And then I don't remember until I go back to the internet and I see my post helping me out. <laughs> so uh, it's not for you, it's for me, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Selfish technician. And uh, this is an MCI JH110 uh, two-track transport. It's got the uh, lower speed cap stand, but it's still cool. It'll do seven and a half, fifteen. Why the fuck would you want to do thirty? Um, this has the uh, rolly roller over on this side, which makes it nice and smooth. And I just thought I'd throw this out there. Nice, quick little video. Uh, tips and tricks. If you if you want to see something, let me know. Uh, I've gone through dozens and dozens and dozens at this point of machines. Uh, fixed damn near every issue you could possibly imagine, uh, refurbed a bunch of machine, refurbed, like, including, like, you know, new sockets, uh, new, new Molex pins, female and male, you name it, an actual refurb, um, not a turn and burn, um, this one, uh, this one will be for sale, uh, this is a nice two-track, uh, fresh relapsed head. Got that back from John. That's a. It's got ninety percent life on it. That's a. That, that'll last you a long time. Mm, that's basically the only thing that's important in these machines, you know. So, anyway, here's uh. I just thought I'd do this one real quick and just say hey, and if you want to see something, let me know. I'll I'll do like a. God, everybody always asks about setup, setup, setup. So I'll do a torque board setup and uh, MRL bullshit, and all that, which is just a tiny, tiny little bit of like what it actually takes to fix this crap. Uh, yeah, cool. So today I had the top off here, and I had cleaned that up and made it look nice, and gone through, gone through everything. And if uh, you ever get the chance to take your top off, it should look clean like this, and not have a lot of crap in there. Uh, they tend to have. <laughs> depending upon how much they got used, they tend to have a lot of tape and residue and gunk and cocaine uh, underneath there. So, word to the wise. Anyway, um, transport's running pretty smooth. You can see the, uh, whoops, I bumped it. I did not mean to do that. I'm in close quarters here today. Uh, the tape, you know, just one real quick, like, if you look at a transport and you see the tape, like, smooth, packed like that, it looks like you can skate on that, transport's probably running pretty good. That's that's one of the first things I look at. Um, so, on here, let me switch hands. On here we have the uh, lifters, and I think a lot of people don't even know this, but the tape will just eat a groove into your lift lifter right there and it just looks like it's supposed to be there but it's not the tape would eventually just wear right through your tape lifter i think and just uh lop your lop it off like a sequoia tree um <laughs> there's a, a brute force uh, some people think it's maybe brute force i don't um method method to fix it which involves something that looks like this uh, do, do, do. yeah yeah one of those that's how you fix it put tape over the teeth to uh, keep the um, keep it from nipping it up too bad and what you do is you just turn it and grab a hold of it and turn it let me see if I've got a different shot oh I do Yeah, so you can see the pliers just on there, and, and what you're going to do is just, there's a groove that's facing the facing out, because that's where the tape is worn across it, and you just want to get in there with your pliers, and really get a lot of force on there before you even twist it, and then 
twist it. And now you have a smooth surface. Maybe a little bit more, get that out of the way, completely out of the way, but it's pretty close. Good. There we go. Yeah. So now you got a nice smooth lifter. Super important. Now you got years and years of uh, use left. Somebody could make some sleeves for those, uh, like the thin brown line guy. If you ever watch this, you make the lifter sleeves for the Ampex. Do you, do you make them for the MCIs? Because, man, just about everybody that owns an MCI uh, could own one of those. Um, you'd make a lot of money. Just my thought, anyway. Anyway, that's uh, now... Now when the lifters come out and the tape's going to go across there, yeah, it's going to be smooth. Awesome. Okay. If you want to see something else, let me know. Uh, if um, 3055s and 2270s and TLO 72s and 741 op amps interest you, then um, yeah, you're in the right place.